What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. On this one I'm going to show you how I rigged the boat and all the new upgrades I have for 2021. I hope you enjoy it. So the first thing you're going to see here, you'll probably see off to my right, I got the Humminbird Helix 7. Uh, last year I ran the Lowrance Hook X25 or something like that. Uh, the one problem I found with that last year was there's no mapping chip capability at all. Uh, the transducer was acting a little sketchy uh, from time to time. Uh, the one day you saw Alex and I go out on the uh, Sebago trip for Lakers, it was super foggy wasn't really safe to run that unit on that boat so I had the Lowrance Hook 7 on the bow that I have GPS and mapping with that for. So uh, I think one really big importance with this is I did get Navionics Hot Map Platinum with it. Uh, I ordered it off Amazon for 170 bucks. It's going to be worth every penny in my opinion. Uh, you get the Navionics uh, app for free for a year for all the upgrades and mapping with this stuff which a lot of the lakes don't change through the year so you know I don't plan on renewing it after that subscription is over but I've already checked it out already scouted all the areas I'm gonna plan on fishing in the spring and I I can't wait to use it so the next upgrade you're gonna see is gonna be a game changer for this boat this boat is made to be on big lakes small lakes but I wanted this boat to go trolling and in order to do that you need some downriggers all right so you guys see it here I got two downriggers exactly the same for the back of this boat you know um, I got downrigger balls as well you know you can see the snubber over there the big key with these is the VersaTrack system on Amazon $86 I paid for the VersaTrack uh, downrigger mount and I also paid separately for the swivel mount. So you can take the swivel mount, you can put it anywhere that you want to have it, and it works out really well. I'm really excited about that. And to go with those downriggers, I got myself two of these trolling rods specifically for downriggers. The eight, eight foot six inch medium light trolling rods from Cabela's and the Depth Master. And they come with the Depth Master 315 on it. So I have it spooled up with big game, 30 pound with a 10 pound, 10 foot fluorocarbon leader. Um, you don't need a lot of line with downrigging, which is great. So the interesting thing with this that I found so far, I picked them up yesterday, is how they collapse. So they have a butt collapse, which is very interesting. Uh, which makes for good storage because they are eight feet, six inches long. So all you gotta do from what I found so far is you kind of twist down and it goes right down to that first eye. I do use uh, rod covers or rod sleeves with all my rods in this boat because I don't want them getting damaged. And I don't want them getting caught together and, and, and linked together. And all you gotta do to bring it back out, that's it. So I'll be really excited. I got two of these, two downriggers. Next I'll cover the downrigger balls I got. So. Here you see it guys, I got six downrigger balls for this year. Uh, I'm using six pound balls here, at least two of them. I actually scored two of these pancake downrigger balls at the Home Depot, eight pounders for uh, 17 bucks. I'm using 10 pounders this year, just the standard 10 pounders. I think I paid um, maybe $20 a piece for those. And then you can also see off to your right, uh, this is for additional rod storage here. You know, bought it for $17 at Bass Pro, put a couple hex bolts in it, quarter inch by 20 by, uh, I think those are three and a half inch bolts, uh, just for extra rod storage uh, when we're swapping from place to place. Uh, maybe we can bring some more friends out, rig up a couple additional wobblers or something to that extent, and just have them ready to go whenever we're 
we're not catching fish. Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, some more upgrades, guys. I got some uh, Scotty rocket launcher rod holders. Uh, last year I rolled with the standard either uh, Ozark Trail or uh, Walmart brand rod holders with the collar on top. The efficiency of those and getting those out of the holders was not great for me. Um, plus the way you can see in the Sebago video, uh, the way they sit inside with these longer um, but, uh, back ends of these fishing rods, the back ends were actually sitting on the deck and I didn't want that anymore because I wanted the rods at full full capability, uh, be able to grab them right out of the holders, be able to set the hook on the fish or maybe pop the dipsy diver off or this year we'll be popping lines off of the downrigger. So uh, these things are going to be pretty awesome. Picked them up for 20 bucks a pop on uh, Amazon. So uh, should be a big time game changer. All right, guys, final upgrade. Uh, I bought two Plano boxes. I organized everything uh, today. Uh, I got all my my Dodgers here, all my wobblers associated by color. I did get some new spoons this year from Bass Pro for uh, ice out, gold, and uh, some orange. Uh, some success we had last year on Sebago was this watermelon color um, uh, wobbler with the pearl on the back. And then I know a lot of people don't run uh, dipsy divers in the northeast. Uh, they do a lot in the Midwest from what I've seen and done a lot of research on. So I got a lot of the, the snubbers this year for the dipsy divers because I think I lost a couple good good sized fish last year because I didn't have a snubber on my dipsy diver. Uh, so I'll be running two downriggers, two dipsy divers, and two lead core. Uh, probably the first trip to Sebago this year because uh, I'll have myself, Alex, and Danny with me. So we're all super pumped for that. And then also, uh, I bought another Plano box just to put those clips inside. You know, this style of clip comes from, uh, uh, who is it, Scotty? Yep, Scotty. Hooks right to the downrigger line compared to these, which have to hook to the ball. Uh, so I'll be pretty excited to try both methods this year. Um, yeah, that's about it. So that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this little uh, video. I've gotten everything rigged up. It's the 27th of March right now. The fishing season doesn't open until the 1st. Uh, I feel like uh, it's going to be a really good year. I'm going to have the opportunity to fish ice out for the first time ever with this boat, which is going to be awesome, and uh, do a couple trips uh, locally. Here, uh, just maybe hook onto some salmon, brown trout, rainbows, definitely togue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content today. Give me a like and subscribe. My next video is not going to be for a couple weeks. So uh, in the meantime, stay safe.